everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today is my last episode I'm recording before I go to work. It is August 3rd, it's Saturday morning, and I have to leave for work in about two hours. And I have a long day ahead of me, and I got a long day ahead of me tomorrow. So I'll try to edit these and post them up as soon as I can. My goal is to try to get all four of these episodes up before Absolute Carnage number one comes out on August 7th. So hopefully I did that. <laughs> uh, but today we're going to do a little precursor, because I think by the time this episode goes up, tomorrow will be absolute carnage my goal is to get this up on tuesday august 6th so august 7th will be absolute carnage number one i'll be at work while it's out so i won't i'll get to my review as soon as i can and i'll do a review very quickly and that's what i'm going to hopefully do throughout the whole you know next two three months with absolute carnage we have a couple other venom stories like the the tooth and claw trade paperback that we got to review and a couple other one shots and other things i want to do but we're going to try to get through those and filter them in the best i can and we'll obviously do another carnage week and i think i have like an anti-venom week planned at some point we'll get as much of this done as we can before this season ends because this season will end around episode 450 so we got a lot to do between now and then as comic book goes and we're probably going to get a lot of movies news coming out soon so we're going to cover that you know the best of our abilities as well um so but i guarantee you uh, and i promise you and i'll make that promise that for the next few months we're going to do the summer of carnage so we'll have a new intro starting tomorrow for all the videos coming out between now even if they have eddie brock in them i'll probably just do the same summer of carnage episodes throughout from now and you know moving forward uh and so uh then that intro i already made it's already ready to go and i can't wait to share it with you guys it's a lot of fun that I, you know and uh it's pretty typical for our standard stuff i just put artwork in i put the music in and stuff so it's pretty standard but you're gonna see that intro moving forward every episode after this one until absolute carnage ends and we have the checklist here so we have in august we have absolute carnage one and two we're going to be talking about or discussing on the show absolute carnage lethal protectors number one miles morales number one scream number one separation anxiety number one Carnage versus Deadpool, number one, and Venom, number 17. So all of those will be, uh, you know, episodes we do this, this month. And in between those, like I said, because that's only like one to two episodes a week uh, for the most part, I will try to squeeze in some of those other Eddie Brock stories and those other one-offs just to keep us going and stuff. And any movie news that comes up, obviously I'll cover that as well. And then in September, we have Absolute Carnage, number three. We have Avengers, number one. Ghost Rider Symbiote of Vengeance, number one. Uh, Lethal Protector, number two. Miles Morales, number two. Scream, number two. Symbiote Spider-Man, number one. That's going to be a one-shot. Uh, and we will talk about that miniseries. I promise you guys we will review that miniseries or discuss it on this channel. Uh, but I'm waiting for all five issues to come out. We'll do like one whole episode on it. Uh, then we have Carnage vs. Deadpool, number two. Amazing Spider-Man, number 30. So it's going to cross over into Amazing Spider-Man book for two issues, I believe. And then Venom, number 18. So all of that will be September. And again, that's two or three episodes a week. So I'll try to do other things in to like fill in but on any week that i'm slow you know and i can't get more episodes out you'll at least get the episodes reviewing or discussing these issues and then in october we have absolute carnage number four immortal hulk number one which is a one shot uh lethal protectors three miles morales three scream three carnage vs deadpool three and Amazing Spider-Man 31 and Venom number 19. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming up over the next few months. Uh, October is a little bit slower than the other months, especially September. That's a really packed month full of tie-ins. Uh, but then in November, the whole book ends with Absolute Carnage number five. Uh, so yeah, we have a lot to do and we're going to get started as soon as tomorrow. That's our first episode. But before we get into that, I do want to remind you guys that these came out. These are True Believers. Uh, these are $1 issues, uh, basically reprints of old stories. Obviously, you guys know about them because you probably bought a, bun of, a bunch of them at, at one point. We talked about them before on uh, one of my other shows about the X-Men ones that came out. Uh, obviously, we went over the Venom ones that came out last year, and uh, and they did Spider-Man ones that had you know Venom appearances, so we talked about those as well. So this past month, uh, what they did was, they, obviously, they did all those short stories, which I'm not really going to discuss. I mean, I, I don't even know if I have most of the issues that they came out in but there was like 10 books that came out uh we obviously we did one uh, episode about them but uh the ones that came out in june we talked about three of them but there was like these one page backup stories post credit scenes they called them that helped set up absolute carnage and i know i didn't really go over those but maybe when we do absolute carnage number one or one of the other reviews i'll touch on those other ones but i just got to find which books they were in again and then i'll track them down i'll buy the digital copies and i'll just go over those pages so we'll get to those um but i from what i remember like not much happened i think like uh captain marvel's cat got eaten by one of the carnage things um her flirkin cat or whatever and then but black cat cats did not get eaten by by the rats uh, black cat actually saved her cats um so yeah i mean there's just like little goofy stories like that so i don't know, really know if they're worth covering but maybe we'll talk about them at some point down the road um during absolute carnage event uh, but these i just want to point these out so these are one dollar issues you can get out there if you just want to see like kind of the brief history 
uh, an evolution of these characters, this is a good place to start because we have, you know, a lot of appearances, major appearances from Carnage in these $1 books. So we already did Venom and we went through a lot of his Venom series where they had Carnage in it, but this time they released a bunch of Carnage stuff that were specific to him, well, some of them, or most of them anyway. So we have Carnage USA number one. This came out, I think, the, one of the first weeks. I don't know if I have these in proper order or not. Uh, they're not in, you know, uh, continuity order, uh, but these are just the orders that I, I picked them up in. So we have Car uh, Carnage USA number one. Uh, that's out right now. It's for a dollar. You can pick that up. That helps set up a lot of the stuff that's going to be coming up in Absolute Carnage. Um, that's also the town, I think, that uh, Carnage, Cult of Carnage took place in. So if you, you know, pick that up for that reason, too, if you want to know where that story comes from. Uh, Venom Separation Anxiety. This does not have Carnage in it. But it does have the other symbiotes, and they are going to play a part in the upcoming event of Absolute Carnage. So I'm glad that they reprinted that. This is the first appearance of Carnage, not the first appearance of Cletus Cassidy, because I think that was issue 344 of Amazing Spider-Man. But this is 361 reprinted, um, and yeah, really nice done, like really nicely done. Uh, and they uh, they were able to uh, add in the Carnage uh, title as opposed to Amazing Spider-Man title. So that's really nicely done, and they got the Absolute Carnage logo on it. So that's first appearance of Carnage. There, you can pick that up. Maximum Carnage number one. Uh, and this was a big book. When this came out, I think this was like a, a $3 book in a time where comics were like $1.50 or $1.75. So, uh, so yeah, this was like a meaty annual issue of Spider-Man. And, uh, and this is only a dollar now. So, yeah, pick it up, please, because it's, uh, it's really amazing. A uh, really good book, too. And, and Maximum Carnage is a lot of fun. Then you have Venom versus Carnage. Uh, this is part one. This is the storyline that introduces Toxin uh, to the Marvel Universe. And we will be talking about Toxin's miniseries. That'll be one of the one-offs that we do during the month of Absolute Carnage. So we'll definitely review that at some point to, uh, to, uh, soon, too. And then we have Savage Rebirth here, which is uh, when Carnage became part of the Silver Surfer. We talked about this issue recently, and it was funny because there's a, a Silver Surfer book out now that Donnie Cates is writing called Silver Surfer Black. And it's, I saw like some headline where they said, oh, it's, it's Donny Cates explaining why the, the symbiotes hate Silver Surfer. But yet they already explained that kind of in this issue that, uh, that Carnage, he has the, the genetic memories of old symbiotes passed down to him like all symbiotes do. They can remember not just their lives, but the lives of the generation before them. And Galactus sent Silver Surfer to wipe out a planet that the symbiotes had taken over. So there was Clintar, obviously, but the symbiotes had branched off and taken over another planet. And Silver Surfer showed up and wiped them all out and fed the planet to Galactus. And that's why they hate him. But yet you know, they're doing a new story now where they're tying Null into it and how Null hates uh, Silver Surfer and everything. And you're just like, OK, I, you know, every I guess, you know, when Donny Cates has an idea, he's just like, let's just tie it into everything. So that way, whenever this character like gets, because I think Noel's probably going to show up in the next Venom, uh, Maximum Venom cartoon. I'm pretty sure they're going to do that because Donny Cates said he wrote some of the episodes. And I'm just like, well, of course he's going to put Noel or, or at least suggest Noel to be in the cartoon because then he gets residuals and he gets paid for a character he created. So it's smart business stuff, but I feel like it's at the detriment of good writing sometimes is to just shove his stuff out there. And that's where I like, I sometimes rail against this stuff. Uh, but overall, you know, I'm just not a personal attack against the guy. It's just like my observation. I could be wrong on it. So if I am, you know, whatever, I'm wrong. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, but anyway, so this this is the book, though, I would say pick up. It's really fun. And it kind of explains that hatred of why uh, Carnage is afraid of Silver Surfer and also why he doesn't like Silver Surfer and why the symbiotes ultimately don't like Silver Surfer. Uh, but then you have uh, Mania here. Uh, this is uh, the da uh, Daniel Way run. So this is the first issue of the Daniel Way run where it uh, or maybe it was like the second or third issue. I can't remember. It's, it's maybe it's not the first one, uh, but it, it it's where the costume comes in, the clone of Venom that we talked about recently with the funeral pyre episode. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty neat and it's a really good run i like the daniel way run uh, it kind of falls apart a little bit towards the end but overall i like the concept of it very much and i wish he was given at least six or seven more issues to kind of wrap that story up in a more organic way than uh, than the way they had to end it because the book was getting canceled um but then you have plan of the symbiotes uh, issue one or one of the parts of it um so this is a really good one too for a dollar and then carnage mind bomb i highly recommend picking this one up this one is fantastic it's mature rated too uh when it came out so i'm i'm kind of surprised i don't see a mature it says rated teen on here and i'm like uh, i'm pretty sure this was mature rated when it came out there were two carnage one shots we talked about them both on the show but i yeah i feel like this one was rated m as well uh, at the time so uh anyway those are a great precursor if you want uh some stuff i mean we're only a few days away by the time this episode goes up you're only a day away from absolute carnage but when you go pick up absolute carnage number one tomorrow the check your store shelves for these ask for the carnage true believers they're only a buck and they're just reprints of really great issues, even if you already have them. It's just kind of a fun trip down memory lane and a great way to refresh yourself 
on the continuity before you read absolute carnage and hopefully you know absolute carnage knows about this continuity and the people working on it uh, so that way there's not too much uh, deviating from it but i get it ultimately when a new writer comes in they want to tell their story they want to bring their vision and their approach to it and that's great i'm all for that to uh, to an extent but i also uh you know in comics are a little bit different than movies and other things. You're not really just translating something. And I feel like a lot of these writers handle it that way where they're like, oh, this is my translation of it. And it's like, well, I don't, I don't mind you putting uh, parts of your spin on it, but you really shouldn't be fully translating something because you're not translating it to another medium. You're, you're still in comics and these characters do have history. So, you know, at least pay some respect to that history, um, you know, before you trample all over it. Uh, but, you know, I'm going off on a little tangent there, but I'm not saying Absolute Carnage is going to do that. I'm just saying I hope that it ultimately at the end of the day, even if it does deviate from continuity, hopefully it still respects the continuity in some way, and hopefully it still um, tells a really good story. And I know a lot of you guys are excited about it, and that's why I'm going to cover every episode. Originally, I wasn't going to because I wasn't really feeling a lot of Donny Cates' stuff, but uh, hearing you guys and hearing your feedback, um, I appreciate that. And like I said, uh, not every decision I make on here, I want it to just be my decision. I like your input, and you guys got me to... to do a 180 on that, and now I'm going to review every single issue or discuss them. I'm not going to review them, but I'll discuss them. And that way we can talk about each issue every single week. So make sure you pick them up. Make sure you don't miss a single issue of Absolute Carnage. There's 27 issues in total between now and November, the first week of November. Uh, so make sure you pick them all up. Save your money. Save your lunch money. Whatever you got to do, pick them up and enjoy them. And watch this show every week so you can see what my thoughts are on them. And then you can leave your comments of what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, I will see you in the Summer of Carnage, which starts in the very next episode. So thank you so much for being a part of the show. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss out on a single chapter of Absolute Carnage with us. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the future. Peace.